If you think America's two-party system is dysfunctional, then you're in the right place. Good morning, and welcome to Coffee with Art. My name is Art Rude, and uh, every weekday morning I try to do a video that I hope will encourage discussion. And uh, let me first say, gosh, it was great to run into friends uh, this past weekend that I hadn't seen for quite a while. And there were a couple of them that said that they really enjoyed having coffee with me, and I got a big kick out of that. That was great. Thanks. It was great to, great to hear that. Um, because... I always enjoyed a good discussion, but this partisan arguments, <laughs> they are so ridiculous. So this morning, I'm really glad to no longer be in the trenches, to no longer have one of those partisan perspectives, but to be able to look at it and laugh at how ridiculous it's gotten, because I'm sorry. I, if I didn't laugh, I'd have to cry, and I don't like crying nearly as well. <laughs> I like to laugh. But it's ridiculous. I mean, some of the things they're doing back and forth, and then both sides are going to tell you that this election is absolutely critical. Uh, <laughs> see, from my point of view, uh, the American government, let me just fill you in on, on uh, an alternative point of view. See, I, I, I think extremely highly of the democratic republic that was established in the Constitution of 1787. I think it's a unique uh, uh, hybrid um, of the best ideas at the time. I think the research that Jefferson and Madison did was uh, remarkable. And uh, uh, in spite of the fact it was a long time ago, they, they, because of the Age of Enlightenment, they showed remarkable foresight, I think. And, and uh, um, <laughs> I've heard some discussion being critical of their time because... Well, I won't go there. Um, I do think the Constitution is worth saving. Uh, but it's, it's very hard for people to accept that what it needs to be saved from is the two-party system, especially when you've grown up all your life thinking of America as the two-party system. I understand that. So that's why uh, it's become a big tree that we have to chop down. <laughs> it's a big problem. Uh, and the two parties will never fix the problem because they are the problem. So anyway, here's, here's my book, Political Cocaine. I remember to show it today. How America got hooked on the two-party system and how to intervene. And I really do believe that it is an addiction. Uh, because people that are in the trenches are so into it, uh, their brain is reinforcing uh, this conflict, and and uh, they're constantly getting their endogenous opiates. Um, and I think it's addictive. And so that's what I'm going to talk about the, the next couple of days is the human brain, because I've always been fascinated by it. Um, but let's talk about the government now. It's It's really a corporatocracy today. And the reason I say that is because it's it's a form of government that's run like a corporation. Uh, for instance, to Walmart or any of the, the big corporate retailers, see, the only value that people really have is as a consumer. You don't make any decisions about what it is. I, I mean, uh, how many times have you gone and you'd, there's a product on the shelves you really liked, and then what happens? It disappears. Because those decisions aren't made by the people who actually use them. Um and that's the way it is with politics in the corporatocracy. Uh, the decisions are made above and sold to the ignorant sheeple down below. Well, I resent that. And so I disrespect both parties. Um, because I believe in the Constitution of 1787, and there was no provision for political parties intentionally. And people have forgotten that. So the way I envision today's government is it's like in the old Western movies. It's, it's like a stagecoach out of control. You know, the uh, uh, the bad guys, uh, be they uh, outlaws or Indians in the movie, uh, and these are we're talking black and white movies now. <laughs> the 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 driver of the stagecoach has been shot and fell off the wagon, so now the the wagon is going out of control at full speed towards the cliff, towards the precipice. So the hero has to get out of the stagecoach and climb up on top and get control of the of the horses and save the day. 
Well, what's been happening with our two-party system is the 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 hero is either a Democrat or Republican. So if it's a if it's a uh, excuse me, I mispronounced that is a Democrat, then the stagecoach gets pulled in control by pulling it to the left. Okay, so now there's a negative reaction to that, and the Republican comes from the stagecoach and saves the day and knocks off the Democrat, and now we get control and go back towards the right. So the two-party system has our out-of-control stagecoach veering to the left and then back to the right and back to the left. Can't you just see it coming now, too? I mean, it's ridiculous, and we're still going towards a precipice. But I believe in people. I'm a populist. I believe at some point the people will say, enough. And uh, I, may, I said that quite a few years ago now. But I really find it liberating at this point to be on the outside looking at the ridiculous soap opera that the two-party system has become. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So um, the two partisans of both flavors are getting madder and madder and more anger coming out all the time, more ridiculous statements and irrational comments. So the vast majority of people, I'm convinced, and that is getting larger and larger, are absolutely disgusted with both parties, and I'm loving it. <laughs> but my question is, at which point will they be disgusted enough to act? Well, I'm acting. <laughs> But all I got is a hatchet, and it's a big darn tree I'm trying to chop down. But I'm going to do everything I can to end the two-party system and try put more power in the hands of common citizens as opposed to uh, party dictates sent from above. I do not believe in government from the top. I believe in government from the bottom. I'm a populist. Let's take it back. Uh, the system was not supposed to have professional politicians. It was not supposed to have political parties. And for sure, we shouldn't have lobbyists. We shouldn't have political action committees or super PACs. That's all corruption. So let's get rid of it. So let's, let's have that discussion. And I hope you will. I hope you'll, I hope you'll have time today to sit down and discuss something with somebody. Remember that every day is a gift. That's why they call it the present. So unwrap that present carefully, because there's good stuff in there. Wouldn't want you to miss anything. Have a great day. Have a great discussion. And take a couple of whacks at the idiocy. <laughs> I hope you have a tremendous day.